Hey guys, welcome back to the next Pi Game tutorial. Uh, so if you remember where we left off in the last video, um, we got our ship to the screen, but it was really tiny. So what I want to do in this video is actually scale him up, make him about three times as large. And I also want to place him at the bottom. And then my goal is to also get the A and D keys to have him move left and right. So let's go ahead and get started on that. So I think the best way to do this is using the transform module inside of Pygame, and that has a scale function. So right after we we load the image into this self.image variable, we're going to do something to it. So we'll do self.image, and what we're going to do is uh, scale it by uh, doing pygame.transform.scale. And this is going to take two arguments. One is what are you trying to scale? Well, we're trying to scale the image. And then the next is a tuple of how, what size do you want to scale it up to? Well, I want to do self.image.getWidth. So this will return its width, and I want to multiply it by three. And I want to do the same with its height. So we can do get height and multiply that by three. That should make him three times the size. And there you go. Now it sees he's a little bigger now. Now we just need to put him at the bottom of the screen. Um, so after we get the rectangular properties, we now have his coordinates. So self.rec.x, we can set to start off at, uh, the, I think the width of our screen was 640. So we can do 640 divided by 2. And then we can do self.rec.y equals uh, 480. Now if you notice when we do this, you're actually not going to see him because see him, it actually placed him... 640 divided by 2 would be the center of the screen, so it put them here at the center. But then 480 is the very bottom of the screen, so that he's right below the screen because the origin point on the image is the top left corner. So he's down here and you can't see him. So we actually need to subtract his height from this 480. So we can do self.rex.height. And that should put him on the screen to where we can see him. There you go. Now he's at the bottom of the screen, so let's go ahead and get um, the controls working. So if we go to our main file here, in this event loop, this is where we check for all events that can happen in our game, like keyboard, if a key is pressed down, if a key is released, if the mouse moves, if a mouse button's clicked. So let's make another if statement right here, and it's going to say if event.type equals pygame.keydown. So this is if it detects any key pressed down on the keyboard. Now to get it to check a specific key is that once the key is pressed down, you can do if event.key equals pygame. And then the, the syntax or the, the way pygame likes it to be typed in is capital K underscore and then the name of the key in lowercase. So we're going to say A for moving left. So in this if statement, this is now for pressing a key down and if that key happens to be the A key, what we're going to do is take player.velocityx and we're going to assign it that speed variable we made. And since he's moving left, it's going to be negative on the x-axis, so it'll be negative speed. Now, if I go ahead and play it and I press A, two things. You'll actually see uh, he has like a little shadowy effect and also he doesn't stop moving he just kind of moved off the screen so let's fix that little uh that effect where you don't see uh it kind of clear the screen in between each frame i actually forgot to do that um so what we need to do every time we update the this display uh it's drawing the ship to the screen and then it's going to the next frame and it's drawing the ship again but it needs to clear it so we need to get like a, a the color black and in between each frame is clear the screen so let's go up here and define a color, and I'll put it with the uh, display information right here. Uh, so we'll just say black equals zero, zero, zero. So to make a color, all it is is a tuple with three variables. It's the red value, the green value, and the blue value, and these can be between zero and 255. So all zeros would be black. So uh, we're on the where it says render display, before we draw everything, we're going to want to clear it. So to clear it, you can grab your display object that you made, and it has a uh, method it can do called fill, and it fills the whole screen with a certain color. So then we can just type black right here. So now if we run it, there you go. So he moves off the screen, but uh, I can't get him to stop or move back. 
And that's because we didn't check for a key up event. So if I if I uh, release the A key, I need to set his speed back to zero. So right below this uh, key down if statement, we'll put another if statement for it. if event dot type equals pi game dot key up. And then if event dot key equals pi game dot K underscore A. So if I raise the A key, then his velocity is going to now be assigned zero. So he stops. So now when I bring it back up, he stops. But I can't get him to go right. But it, you can probably figure out how to do it. All you can do is do like an else if event dot key equals pi game dot K D for D for right player.velocity x equals player.speed. So his speed will equal five. And then we'll also add the key up event for that. Key equals pi game dot k d player dot velocity x equals zero. So now I can move them left and right. Pretty cool. So there's a couple of things. Uh, one, he can go off the screen. We don't want that. We want there to be like a border here. So we need to handle for that. And also on this side, we need to handle for that. I also want to make it where if I press space, he can shoot a bullet. And we're eventually going to put some enemies at the top that he can shoot. And I'll also add like a score, a point system for however many you shoot, you get points. Uh, if you collide with an enemy, uh, you'll blow up and it'll say game over. Um, I think in the next video, what I actually want to do I want to put like a background on here and I'm going to have some dynamic background where like you'll see a bunch of stars come down like you're actually flying through space and I got a really cool way to do that that'll look pretty awesome. Um, so we'll do that in the next video actually. I'm going to do the background, I call it the star field. Um, and then the video after that will probably continue to work on the key presses and get him to stop when he hits the right side or left side of the screen. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next video.